Good morning, and welcome back to the farm. Uh, hope you had a good night, good day, good everything. I know I did. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we're, we're not really exactly where we usually are when we start this recording here. There's a very good reason for that. I kind of lost track of the months. It's all this snow, like it's March, but there is a lot of snow on the ground, which is, you know, weird. Uh, and it threw me off. Let's see, nothing on the market to s purchase. Um, what's that? A header, trailer, slurry tank, yeah, no. So there's nothing to purchase, but if you look at my current funds, you will see that I already did some purchases. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I just couldn't help myself. So, um, don't you call, I have a new water tank. This one holds 8,000 liters and it's blue. I have a cedar over here that I got. It's very nice, it's wide, it's big, and it's ready to go. This field here has been like uh, cultivated and um, don't think it's been rolled yet. Uh, let's see. There is nothing growing. Um, let's see. Cultivated, yeah. Does it need rolling? No, it doesn't need rolling. Um, and there's one more thing that I purchased. Um, something that will be able to pull that one, which is basically why I'm out of funds. It showed up on the sales market. I think it was somewhere around like 61 or 67 percent off. And it's, yeah, I couldn't not get it. Um, considering the price and the size, I got it. So this is the one. This is. A New Holland T7 315 HD. It is a beast. As you can see, if you look you at the... Oh, sorry, that's not the one. Never mind. Yeah, right, this is not the one. But this one... We're gonna have um, them sort out. Sorry, I don't know my taxi, sorry, taxi, tractor brands that, that well. Um, <clears throat> it was, it looked a bit off. But yeah, so he is cultivating that field over there. And I will show you the fence that I purchased. If I can find it. The greenhouse is doing good. Uh, I replaced the sprayer. No, I didn't really replace it. I just bought another one that is slightly wider. Um, and now I'm looking for my big, big tractor. Where is my big, big tractor? Huh. Okay. It is over here, but that's not the one. Ah, okay. Right. <laughs> right, 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 right. It's over here. Now I remember. Sorry. So. As you can see, the monies are low. I did buy this huge tractor here, large. It's a big one. It's, it's a Fent 1050 Vario with big trailerboard tires. The trailer is not all new. And I came here because I have two loads of uh, wheat that I want to sell to the Gold Crest Valley. Because if you look at the prices at wheat on Gold Crest Valley, it is 1254 
which is a good price. And the reason I'm doing that is to make a little bit of money back. Um, that's where I could do my stuff. Okay, train will arrive soon. Uh, because I did spend the money to buy all those things, I don't have... Um, I, I want to make sure that I have the money to purchase um, the B technology, these two, uh, when it comes to it. And um, also, now a little bit of planning ahead here. You notice that my worker is, is doing um, this field here, right? Ivan, he is. is um, cultivating that field. I'm thinking of planting beets here and here. And then we see how that goes when I will um, harvest it in, in, in August. And then on the last field, the field 42 down here, I will do the soybeans here, which I will do in April. Um, and with those two machines, plus, like I said, I needed another one. Um, here in, um, I was thinking of this one to make pallets. Mm. Or if I'm not making a pallet, I need a trailer that can hold. Uh, the beats. The one I have now can, uh, I think, that one. Yeah, you can hold beats. 18,500. Excuse me, train driver. Let me just borrow your train a bit. I'm gonna pick up some wheat and sell it. And then, um, just, you know, to even though I do a few jobs for other farmers and I can't guarantee that they will have enough work for me. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm selling some of my wheat. I still have plenty. But to, to feed the chickens. So that's good. I think it's the th second wagon here. Yep. So this is two full loads from the trailer as much as it could carry due to weight constraints. Um, not sure what it is that causes the weight constraint because it shouldn't be the tractor. Considering the tractor is the big one. Yes. So 40,000. Oh, not that way. It's not bad. 40,000. 434 after discounting the, the cost of borrowing the train so back to the farm and we start to and I will start to plant the seeds for the beets in the field it's a very roomy Tractor with lots of view, visible visibility all around, right? Yeah. A lot of power. So this tractor will help me out for a long, long time. 
I haven't repaired it yet. Um, it's been around for a couple of hours. Not too many hours though, considering the price I got uh, or the price I had to pay for it. It's surprisingly new. So, yeah, the the snow threw me off. Um, I didn't ex realize it was March already. I thought it was like February or something. So, no mistake on that. It's kind of like a rushed um, situation here. But we're doing well, I think. He's doing his best, little even, Ivan. Which is good. I always want everybody to do their best. So, I will try and do my best as well. that one there and then we hook up to this one It's full, so it's kind of heavy, but I think this tractor can handle it. Let's see if there. Just set it up properly with the GPS system. There we go, pretty much. And this is going to be um, set A, Cardinal 217. So you track the farm, and it's going to be beat 46. There we go. Oh, this doesn't going to take long at all. This is going to be very quick. I figure like three passes maybe, possibly four. Just look at the strength of this one. Should probably need to put a weight on the front. I think I have one around here somewhere. I sold my uh, smaller tractor because I didn't feel like I needed it anymore. Maybe it was a mistake to sell it, but. Okay, it's not as wide as I thought. There we go. Good work. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of limited on space as it is. Um, so, yeah. But I, I consider this to be a good investment into the farm, the bigger tractor and uh, the, the planter. Because um, I can rotate my crop now to do pretty much everything I want 
except for um, potatoes and cotton. Don't want to do cotton. I don't know why. It's feels like it's going to be a lot of work to do cotton. And this big cedar is doing fertilizing at the same time, so I'm saving a trip across the field. Well, we will see how this turns out in terms of money and, and time invested. The seeding is, is quick, but I know using the, ro the Ropa machines or what brand machine it was that I've shown you to pull up the, the beads and things like that. We'll see how long that will take. Because uh, it might be... Uh, well, this is not good. It might not be worth the hassle if that thing takes too long to do. But we'll see. Okay. I don't know if I should start the next field. Or wait till it's completely done. I think it's okay to start. Don't really need to sell anything. Um, like I said before, I did sell uh, some chicken. But to be honest with you, it's 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 not worth it. It's a bit of a hassle to do that because um, it it disrupts the egg production before you get new chicks to be born and and. Uh, raised up to the right age. So, um, I'd rather just stick to egg production and I keep the chicks around for as long as they live. Uh, and then, you know, they have to be, will be replaced by the time uh, yeah, you know, nature of time and things like that, the flow of time. So, didn't use up more than about a little over 200 to make this entire field, which is good, but let's refill it. I think I have some seed over here somewhere. the one. That's the one. Oh, this is lime, 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 lime. I am fairly certain I bought extra seed. Oh, maybe it's in the other cedar. Oh, it's okay. Let's just do what we need to do. There we go. If I have to stop to refill, I will. I think that's a good enough spot. Yeah. Okay. 
So, control S. Make sure the auto width is set. Set A. Cardinal to 70. And this is beat 41. Lower it. And run it. So I'll do beats on these two fields. 45, 46 combo and 41. And then next month I will get started on uh, soybean on field 42. And um, that one, let's see. So we harvest the soybeans in October and we harvest the beets in October. So we see it's going to be a busy month. So we see what's happening uh, in terms of sales once I start selling it. I need to make money enough to buy the cedar equipment or the harvesting equipment. For this stuff. I already have it for the the soybeans. But it's a little bit more when it comes to the beet. So it's gonna take a little break up ahead. Um, let even do some more work as we look into certain things like if there's anything I can sell out of my production so far um, if I need to refill the seed uh, for the chickens refill the water for the greenhouses I, I scramble very early in the morning to get everything set up So let's look at things, shall we? Okay, we have the greenhouses. Um, they have pretty much sold everything and they're now back to storing. Which is good. Haven't really built up much. They have some outside, the, the greenhouses, that's good. Now these, they, they still have plenty of food. I don't need to refill it yet. We have one, two, three, four, five. So we have 300, sorry. Oh, I'm so, 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 so sorry. 300 chickens. Um, some are still working on puberty and production. So it affects my income of eggs. Now, looking at what we have, we still have 109,000 liters of wheat, and we have the 15,000 liters of the barley. Um, Eggs, it doesn't tell us how much we have. Um, the pricing on egg is, is not the best um, as of yet. I believe my little list will tell me that eggs will sell for. The better price on eggs would be, yeah, like five and a half thousand. This is considered a very low price on eggs. Um, how about lettuce and tomatoes? Lettuce um, should be around 4,000 plus, it's not. Tomatoes should be around 2,000 plus, it's not. So, no, nothing really worth selling in terms of my resources, which is okay. I, I have 78,000 now. There's nothing on sale here. Um, don't know if there's any jobs to do. I will check into that later. Um, but not just quite yet. I will keep doing this stuff on this field for this month and then next month I will plant soybeans on field 42. Um, you don't really need to see that um, and I will bring you back when it's time to harvest the beets here because that's something new, you haven't seen me do that before. You've seen me run a combine. Um, <coughs> So it's going to be a lot of work back and forth. I, I might invest some of the money 
in a bigger trailer instead of getting the, the pallet uh, maker for the, the beads. But at the same time, I also need a place to store the beads if I'm not doing pallets right away. And even then, I do need a place to store the beads. So I have, I have the work cut out for me. I just need to get the funds ready. Looking at it, like I said, this price here is... 125,000 so I, I can't even I can afford that not that but we're also looking at a um, larger trailer something that can hold a lot of weight like this these are good the Rudolph series um, they can be um, this one can be upsized to hold more weight to hold 24.5 cubics um, which is good enough for a few offloads however I don't know if that little uh, machine that I got to harvest the beets has the arm reach to reach above this extra rim here so I might just have to go with this version which is 18.5 still not bad but we have that over here, like this one, 18.5. Um, this is a twin wheel. This is this um, wheel setup here, which is difficult to reverse on. This wheel setup is very easy to reverse on, easier at least. So, but it's like 9,000 extra. This one, also the bad wheel setup. Um, I mean, yes, there is this one though. Um, cannot transport beats, so there is not that one. So it would have to be. How about this one? Again, we, we have to just see what the height is on what we have. I mean, to get away from that, I can get the small one, the, the, the belt thingy, this one, and just make pallets and use my um, small trailer that I already have. this one to transport the pallets there is options that's that's for sure um, but it's in the summertime right now I'm, I'm uh, not too concerned about that I'll get to it eventually so until that happens I will keep going and doing this stuff here and you get back when it's time to harvest which will be in oh I'm so bad with dates September no October oh yeah unless something really interesting happens between here and there that's that's yeah I think that's a good one so that's it for today thank you for watching please like and subscribe and sorry for my distraction a little bit I'm truly sorry about that um, but you know I hope you can all see past that and move forward and I'll see you next time until then take care have fun and Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays bye bye